So if you've been following this channel for any extended length of time, you'll know that I'm a bit of an efficiency freak. The photography and the video production work that I do in sports, real estate, and corporate content usually requires an immediate turnaround. It's pretty common for me to be sitting on the sidelines at a game trying to deliver client pictures as quickly as possible. So when Kingston reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review their workflow station, I was pretty intrigued. And in this video, I'll be breaking down what the workflow station actually is and what you can expect in terms of build quality, performance, design, and so on. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm actually going to be giving away a workflow station to one lucky speedy photographer student. So if you like what you're seeing in this review and you want one for yourself, be sure to stick around until the very end for the contest details. And if you're looking for something specific, all of the concepts and times referenced in this video are up on screen. Now, one important disclaimer before we jump in, this review is not sponsored. I was not paid to say anything positive or negative, and all of the opinions expressed in this video are my own. Kingston literally just sent me the workflow station and said, go ahead, use it and make a review on it. And I have been using it extensively over the past month, which means that I'll be completely transparent about what I like and what I don't like. So to start, let me share a bit of background about the workflow station because I know that I was personally unfamiliar with it before I got it. Essentially, this is a docking system that allows you to connect different modules for transferring content over from SD cards, micro SD cards, USB drives, or even a portable SSD. You can see that the workflow station comes with four USB 3.2 docking ports that can be configured in whatever way you like. And in total, there are three different modules. Modules. A USB module, which offers USB-A and USB-C connectivity, an SD card module, which includes two SD card ports, and a micro SD card module, which comes with two micro SD card ports. It's important to note that the only one that actually comes with the workflow station is the USB module, so you will have to spend a bit of extra money to get the SD card and the micro SD card connectivity. It's also important to note that while the workflow station is based on USB 3.2 generation 2 with theoretical transfer speeds of 10 gigabits per second, the USB module is based on USB 3.2 generation 1 with theoretical transfer speeds of 5 gigabits per second. This was likely an intentional decision to avoid throttling the workflow station when dealing with multiple transfers. Now all of these modules can be used independently as well, so if you're going to be on the road you can disconnect one, throw it in your bag, and use it with a dedicated USB-C cable. Now one last little fun fact for you, if you happen to have a portable SSD that fits into the slot, you can also connect it directly to the docking station. You'll see that I have mine perfectly docked here. All right, with that out of the way, let's have a look at the build quality. When it comes to the workflow station itself, the unit is well constructed and it does have a bit of weight to it. This is important because you're probably going to leave it sitting near the corner of your desk and you don't ever want it to move. Now, when it comes to the individual modules, I will admit they feel a little bit cheap and this is mostly because they're very lightweight, which actually does make sense to me because if you're going to be connecting and disconnecting them from the workflow station, you don't want them to be so heavy that you can't manage to pull them out. But I still found that I needed to hold the workflow station in place while I was removing the modules, otherwise it would lift up and shift slightly out of place. Next, let's have a look at the actual performance and transfer speeds. I had pretty high expectations for this category and the workflow station did not disappoint. To test the USB module, I connected a Kingston Data Traveler USB drive rated with a 1000 megabyte per second read speed and a 900 megabyte per second write speed. Now, keeping in mind that the USB module is based on USB 3.2 generation one transfer speeds, it delivered at full speed, both when connected to the workflow station and when connected directly to my computer. To test the SD card module, I connected a Kingston React Plus memory card rated with a 300 megabyte per second read speed and a 260 megabyte per second write speed. Again, the SD card module delivered at full speed when connected to the workflow station and when connected directly to my computer. To test the micro SD card module, I connected a Kingston Canvas Go Plus memory card rated with a 170 megabyte per second read speed and a 90 megabyte per second write speed. Once again, the micro SD card module delivered at full speed speed when connected to the workflow station and when connected directly to my computer. Now, in addition to these individual tests, I also went ahead and I ran three instances of Crystal Disk Mark on the USB module, the SD card module, and the micro SD card module simultaneously. I wanted to stress test the workflow station and see how it would perform with multiple transfers. And in my testing, the only significant decrease that I noticed was in the read speed of the USB module and the SD card module. All of the other test results looked pretty much the same. Overall, this means that the workflow flow station can hold up pretty well when dealing with multiple transfers. But with that said, there was one disappointing test result that I feel I should mention, and it has to do with the dual card slots on the SD card module and the micro SD card module. When I tried connecting two Kingston React Plus memory cards to the SD card module and transferring data from both of them at the same time, there was a massive 65% decrease in the read and the write speeds of both cards. This was kind of a downer for me because I usually need to offload pictures from two separate cameras when I'm shooting sports. But overall,
overall, I think the issue is minor and it does not negate all of those other outstanding results that I mentioned earlier. Moving on, I want to talk about the design of the workflow station. The aesthetics of this unit are very pleasing. It looks a heck of a lot better on my desk than the old USB 3.0 hub that I was using before. With that said, if I had to sit here and nitpick, I do have three minor complaints about the design. My first complaint is actually with the cables that came with the workflow station. They are extremely short. I would estimate that the power cable is only about six feet long and the USB-C cable is only about four feet long. Most people would think that this isn't a big deal, but personally, I think it is because of who this product is being marketed for. I suspect the target audience, which is photographers and video creators like myself, will be connecting the workflow station to a desktop computer. And a four foot USB-C cable does not leave you with many options when it comes to cable management. Have a look for yourself. When my desk is in a standing position, you can see that the cable is fully stretched out and I couldn't even wrap it with everything else. This left me with basically no choice but to swap out the cable so I could actually position the workflow station where I wanted it on my desk. Now my second complaint was with the lack of a CF card module. I understand that CF cards are slowly becoming obsolete and they're definitely not used by general consumers, but again, this product isn't targeting general consumers. And I know quite a few people in the industry who continue to use CF cards on a regular basis. My third and final complaint is extremely minor and it only applies to those of you who have a Kingston SSD. You can see here that the SSD fits perfectly into the slot on the workflow station, but that same SSD is packaged with an optional protective casing. And when I try to connect the SSD with that protective casing on it, you can see that it no longer fits. Seems like a bit of an oversight to me because the protective casing doesn't need to be as thick as it is. So to wrap up this video, would I recommend that you buy the Kingston workflow station? The answer, yes, I would. There were a number of little things which annoyed me about the workflow station, but most of them have a pretty simple solution. If the cables are too short, you can replace them. If the SSD doesn't fit, you can remove the protective casing. If the workflow station keeps moving when you remove the modules, you can hold it in place with a piece of double-sided tape. The point is, most of my annoyances were very small, but the workflow station absolutely delivers where it matters. I haven't had a single hiccup or issue with any of my cards while using it, and ultimately, that is what you should be looking for when it comes to a docking station like this, efficiency and reliability. So if you're interested in winning a workflow station for yourself, I've partnered with Kingston to give this brand new one right here away to one lucky Speedy Photographer student. All you have to do is sign up for Speedy Photographer using the link in the description below. It's the fastest and ultimate online photography school where I break down everything from the different types of lighting to how your website should be designed to how you can maximize revenue and take on more clients. So be sure to check that out. The contest will close shortly after this video is posted. Again, all details are in the description below. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more high value content just like this, and I'll see you in the next video.